What's happening guys, today we're going to be talking about fringing and a unique way to get rid of fringing in any of your images using Photoshop. So let's get into it. What's going on guys, my name is Brennan from BeWillCreative.com, home to editing tutorials, camera gear reviews, tricks, and tips. Now if you're new to this channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my latest Photoshop and photography tutorials. So today we're going to be talking about something that I'm sure many of you have had some issues with, and that is called fringing. So what fringing is, is a little bit of remnants left over around the edges of our selection, showing a little bit of the previous photo that our image was cut out of. So to show you an example of what fringing is, I'm just going to quickly make a quick selection mask around the sky of this photo here. And so I'm just going to select that layer, grab my quick selection tool, and I'm just going to run it over the sky. And so this tool will work in this scenario because we have a very clear and defined line across our sky. There's lots of good contrast there. And now with that selection made, I'm just going to add that to a layer mask. I'm going to invert my layer mask so I can see the part of my image that I want to keep. And now if I zoom in to check out the edge, everything looks pretty okay, but you have to keep in mind that everything will always look pretty darn good against a nearly white background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer below my tutorial image and I'm just going to fill it with black. So now that my background is black, you can see along the edges of my mountains here, we have a little bit of this discolored kind of weird looking stuff. So that is called fringing. Like I said before, fringing is something that is just a little bit of remnants left over from the previous image that we had just cut out. So in this case, it's just a little bit of remnants left over from the sky. So if you guys are familiar in Photoshop, there is a feature in Selected Mask that we can use to kind of get rid of fringing, but I find it doesn't really do a really great job. So I'm not even going to cover that in this tutorial. I'm just going to be focusing on one trick that I think works really well when it comes to managing fringing on the edges of your selections. So what we're going to do to get rid of all of this gross fringing is we are going to create a new layer and we're basically going to paint over all of that fringing. So we're just going to be kind of filling it in with our clone stamp tool. So I'm going to create a new layer above my tutorial image. I'm going to grab my clone stamp tool and I'm going to make sure that my sample here is set to current and below. And then next, I'm going to just clip it to my tutorial image down below here. Now what I'm going to do is I want to rescale my brush to a relatively small brush size, making sure that my opacity is at 100%. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to sample, so hold Alt or Option to sample an area, and we're just going to paint over the edge like so. So as you see, we're sampling an area near our edge, and now we're painting over the edge with that sampled area covering up any kind of fringing that we might have. So we'll just continue to do this sampling and then painting over all of the fringing across our entire mountain range here. It's really important to sample close to where you are wanting to fill in the fringing because you want to make sure that everything stays relatively uniform in the way that it looks and you're not changing any colors in weird ways and whatnot. So it does take a little bit of finessing, but this is the way that I have found to be pretty much the foolproof way of getting rid of any pesky fringing that is left over in your image. So I'm just going to go through the rest of my photo here, finish touching everything up, and then I'm going to show you the before and after of how our fringing cover up went. <laughs> Alright, so now I've gone across the entire bit of my mountain range here, and if I zoom in, we're going to double check to see kind of the work that we've done. So turning off the layer that I put all of my clone stamp and fringe removal adjustments on, I'm just going to turn that on and off, and you can see how we have kept the exact shape, the exact selection as before, except now we have got rid of all of that leftover fringing, which can end up really degrading the quality of our image when we go to replace a sky, or perhaps trying to add this photo into another image. 
Now fringing is something that can happen whether you're cutting out mountains with the quick selection tool or it can be something that happens when you're cutting out a person with the pen tool. Just about anything that you're trying to cut out in Photoshop, if there is a little bit of remnants left over from the previous image, you can use this exact trick that we just went over, creating a new layer and using our clone stamp tool to clone stamp over the edges to fix any of those fringing problems that we run into while editing our photos. So in this case, it was important for me to be able to cover up all of that fringing so that once I replace my sky, everything looks really nice and clean. So if I zoom in, we can see that everything looks very natural. There's nothing sort of awry or there's no discoloration around the edges of our mountains. We really want to make sure that the quality matches that of the original photo. Now if you're a photographer like me and you love to take scenic landscape photos just like this one, then you probably have or are looking for an ND filter. Now in my previous video I posted a review sharing three Nisi ND filters that I think are superb for landscape photography. So if that's something that you might be interested in checking out, I'll leave a link down in the description below to my previous video reviewing three different ND filters by Nisi Filters. Now that's all I have for you for today. This was a cool trick of how to remove fringing in any of your images using the clone stamp tool. Now if you found this tutorial helpful then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more photo and editing tutorials just like this one. If you want to see a little bit more of my work I invite you to check out my Instagram at Burnwells. Tag me in any of your photos that you use my tutorials in. I'd love to see the stuff that you guys create. Anyways guys, once again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new photo editing tutorial. See you then.